Can instant coffee actually be worth your time? Let's find out. This coffee from Cafe Bustello, if I'm saying that correctly, was a recommendation from a viewer named Michael Stewart. Michael, thank you very much for your recommendation. This is an instant coffee. And when I say coffee, I have to ask the question, is instant coffee real coffee? Well, technically instant coffee is real coffee. So it is actually coffee that has been roasted, it has been ground, it has been brewed, and then actually it is dehydrated forming coffee crystals, and then it is contained in a neat little package such as this one. All this takes is six ounces of hot water. We pour the contents of one of these little packs in there, and hopefully you get something palatable out of it. Interesting. This almost looks like a, uh, a little like sugar packet, like a stevia packet or something. Yeah. This package of six servings was only $1.20. That is cheap. Which, quick maths for six servings, that's 20 cents a cup. Oh, wait a minute. No, this should be openable. Yes, it is for sure. Imagine you're stuck with these on a deserted island. You can't open them. I kind of just want to eat this. I just don't feel like... I wonder what it actually tastes like if we did that. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. It's going to rehydrate inside of you. This is like a powder. Usually these are pellets. Interesting, okay. Yeah, yeah it's really? usually crystals. That's more yeah. powder-esque. You know, they have the same thing, but in a jar, right? Is it just me or is there not much of a scent to this? I guess it's like just very mild. And I guess that's just because dehydrated. Let's see if Michael Stewart Ooh. had a good suggestion. So this is about six fluid ounces, right? Yeah. Okay. Probably half the cup. The same okay. thing, but in a jar, it's like little pellets. I'm sure you've seen that before. This is a, like, dust. Okay. That smell, I'm not gonna lie, it it smells a bit like cat litter, <laughs> if I'm being honest. It smells very unusual. Maybe like a fresh cat litter. Like one that you just changed and it's like the next morning. Some kind of pet product or like a pet store is what it smells like. It does smell like a pet store, yeah. Perhaps my olfactory senses are deceiving me. Let's see how it actually tastes. It tastes odd. Extraordinarily. But it's not necessarily unpleasant. I will say I had, I've had worse instant coffee in my lifetime. The Starbucks instant regret. Namely, Starbucks instant regret. And now I will say this. Which was like 10 times the price of this. Yeah, way more expensive. What I will say is that it's, a, it's the best instant coffee I've had. I've had two worst coffees, the Starbucks as we mentioned, and then I was uh, traveling and I was having coffee on an airplane and that was also a horrendous experience. You know what, this kind of grows on you though. It, it tastes odd. But not necessarily bad. It's almost like a, it's really a sweetness with a mixture of animal musk. <laughs> or like a wood musk or something. Maybe some like weird Gen X cologne or something. That's kind of what I'm getting the vibes of here. You know what a gooseberry is? I do know what a gooseberry is. I've not had one, but I know what it is. Have you ever had a gooseberry that's not quite ripe? Oh, is that what this tastes like? It tastes like some kind of un, like a un, unripened berry. Yeah. Like a like a green blueberry, but without the sourness. That was brushed with a wild cat, perhaps a few too many times. Like you're really getting the wild cat thing out of it? I, I just I there's some you kind can, of you odd said litter, you said musk. You there's said, some kind of odd musk to it. It's it's not pleasant. I don't mind it. I mean maybe in a dire situation if you're really truly desperate that might this might satiate you if you're on the go, but it's not that bad. You know, I actually, it's not bad at all. I wouldn't say it's bad at all. I wouldn't cl classify it as any level of bad. Now, just in the regular world of coffee, not including instant coffee necessarily, I can't in good conscience recommend this. However, compared to all the other instant coffees I've had, I'd say that maybe in the middle of the road, if you were in a situation where one, you're trying to save money, two, you don't mind making instant coffee, like you're on the go, you know, and you just need something, that little extra coffee kick to your morning. Perhaps this could be the thing for you because it is extraordinarily affordable. That is to its advantage. It is quick and it is easy. All you need is hot water or some sort of milk, you know, something of that sort of, uh, sort of persuasion to rehydrate it. And there you go. Couple points of consideration. Is it better than Folgers? That is an extraordinary. I don't know if I can answer that question. I have to think about that for a few days. Is it better than, I don't know if Folgers makes an instant one. Probably they do. Yeah, they have to make an instant coffee. But I've never had one. We just had the like generic red tub. We should look into that. If Folgers has an instant coffee, we'll go ahead and taste it on the channel. I'd say this is infinitely better than the Folgers we had. As I probably said in the Folgers video, it's like different levels of terrible. In the world of coffee, can't recommend it. In the world of instant coffee, sure. 
go for it. I'd say it's one of the better instant coffee. It's actually the best instant coffee I've had. Yeah, same here for sure. You know, so. Best instant coffee for sure. I would take it one step further. I'd say it's better than Folgers. I would say it's better uh, at a comparable price than a lot of K-Cups. That's a recommendation for this. Now, you can probably pick this up at any local grocer you have. You know, if you have like yep. a Publix or a Winn-Dixie or some other store in your area. You probably find this just about anywhere. And have you actually tried the Bustelo Instant Coffee? Let us know in the comments below. Do you have a favorite instant coffee? Also comment, let us know what it is. And if you're fortunate, we'll go ahead and try it on the show here. Additionally, please go ahead and like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel a lot. As always, Sergey, what do we usually recommend on our channel? Well, first of all, I would say thank you to Michael Stewart for using his whole brain. Yes, thank and you. And recommending this to us. Michael, you are using your whole brain, which is what, as per usual on this channel, we strongly recommend. We recommend all of you do the same. Yes, follow Michael's example and keep using your, your whole brain. Role.